guys welcome back and welcome to my crochet catch up crochet wrap up for the month of February 2020 if you can hear that tinkling smattering steady sound in the background that's a weird phenomenon known as rain steady beautiful glorious <sighs> rain for the past 48 hours we have had solid consistent rain I forgot what it sounded like, I forgot what it was like to wake up to it, I forgot what it was like to go to bed with it on the roof and it's just been amazing and serene and glorious and the dog is terrified of it because he's forgotten what it is. So getting him out has been interesting, a lot of treaties involved but he's getting there, it's okay. Uh, so all the fires, just a little side note by the way, all the fires, they are now officially out, they are extinguished, every fire in my state is no more. Every fire in the state of New South Wales, which is the state that engulfs my state, they're all out. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's a weird, wonderful time. Slowly getting used to this thing called rain. I had to find my raincoat, guys. I didn't know where the hell I put it. I think I buried it forever thinking I'm never going to need that again. It's just been great. And it's a lovely purple colour, but that's, that's, nobody cares about that. How are we? Crochet. You can tell I'm really excited about the rain. <laughs> Crochet. I don't have all that much to show you guys. I worked on two projects in February. Got quite a bit done, but again, only two projects. Uh, one was a work in progress, one that has been sitting idle for a very long time. And the other is a completely new project because we all know I need one of those. Got about 10 things on the go. Nah, nah, not interested in working or finishing up or, or continuing them. No, of course not. I'm a crocheter. I'm going to start something new. But first, the project that has been sitting patiently waiting for me to do a little bit more on is of course a portrait. It has been so long since I finished a portrait. <laughs> it's been so long since I worked properly on a, pro on a portrait. And it's been fantastic. Of course, the weather has cooled down slightly. I'm able to put up with it on my lap <laughs> and not die of heat exhaustion. So it's come back out and just getting into the rhythm and flow of working on a portrait again, it's brought big smiles. Big smiles, guys. I mentioned last update that I really wanted to work on Clark Gable, the portrait. Um, I really wanted to do some work on his portrait, and I have. And I was aiming to give the guy a chin because he had been just chinless, sort of up to here for a very, very, very long time. And I've surpassed that mark. And if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or all those things, you will have already seen where I'm up to because I haven't done any more work on him. But he has reached 42%. I believe that's 63 rows out of 150 I've done. Dude's got a chin. Not only that, he's got lips. Not only that, he's got a tash or mustache, <laughs> if you like. And he's got the beginnings of a nose, guys. So check it out. This is Mr. Clark Gable looking freaking fine as. As fine as you can when you don't have eyeballs, but there you go. Look at that. And the background is stunning. I am digging these greens and the blues and what they're doing because they are mingling beautifully. Gorgeous sort of tapestry, yarny, weavy, wonderful dance there. And uh, isn't he looking fantastic? Digging the greys. They are doing their thing. Uh, quite a bit of bright light shining on this side but you know it's it's always tough to kind of get the the shading and the highlights and everything where you want it but uh, I think it's going to work out okay not really showing it too well here I'll just show you a clip further back that's more like it there he is so he's coming along really really well you can see all the mess let me just look there we go <laughs> So as you can see, I think he is going to turn out exceptionally well. I'm very excited. When you start getting facial features, I've got yarn fluff on me now, but when you start getting all those features appearing, the joy, the excitement, the anticipation, it just rockets up to 12. So I'm very keen to keep going. Can't wait to give him eyes. He's got, because he's looking down, he's sort of like this. Uh, it's a very iconic headshot of his that I went with, but uh, he's got a lot of hair coming up. And should go really really quick because there's this huge expanse of black in the middle of his head and there's just a few highlights on the side but black and there's long stretches of thank you there's long stretches of black uh, sorry green in the background and so it should go really really quickly so that's exciting but there you go he's up to 42% 
he is going to join this flock over here. <laughs> He's going to be panel number five. And I'm so happy I went with the greens. I've been trying to vary up the backgrounds and make it interesting and uh, he should fit in really well. I don't know who to put him next to. Don't know <laughs> who he should be looking at uh, up in the air at the moment, but we'll see. But I'm very excited for him to join this group. It's going to be amazing. So of course, I'd love to be able to keep crocheting, hopefully be able to show you what are we going to go for? He's at, what did I say, 42% now. If I can get to six, if I can get to eyes by the end of March, that would be amazing. <sighs> would be, be just, ah, I'm very excited for it. The next project and the last project that I have to share with you is, I just, you know what, granny squares. They are everywhere at the moment. There's a lot of granny things going on here on YouTube, on Instagram. Granny squares have exploded all over the place. And for some reason, I was... Also hearing a lot about people using up their stash and sort of scrap busting. It's a big thing this year, which is fantastic. Um, we must all be poor. We must be completely skint and not want to buy any new yarn, which I can totally be on board with. Um, so I had a look at my scrappy yarn bin. I have a bin. I don't have a jar. I don't have a little bag. I have a, I have a mammoth bin with wound up scraps in it. And I noticed a bit of a trend and I saw I had a lot of blues sort of turquoisey mid blues for some strange reason. I had a lot of pinks and a lot of peaches and, um, well, yeah, pinks and peaches. And I also had a lot of purples. I thought, they're three colours that I don't mind together. And I also had two, I believe two, variegated yarns that were of the purpley pink kind of hue. So I thought, you know what, time for me to, to scrap bust as well. I'm going to make a ton of grannies and put together a blanket. Why not? And I haven't put together a small granny square blanket, if ever, I don't think. There's always been some sort of motif or there's always been differing sizes or differing types of square. This one is just the standard granny square that I found the tutorial for over on Jada and Stitches. I'll link it below. Uh, and I just got cracking really. And I've just managed to do in the month of February I just once I finished one I started another they're like Pringles you just keep going 32 I got through um how many rows one two three four they're five rows each uh end row is white so as I can join them together but just simple grannies really I think it's that way <laughs> simple grannies um just mixed up sort of the color palettes as I mentioned I've got a, a purple and a pink and a and a and a blue thing going down and um, yeah I'm hoping together the theme will one run through enough there's sort of different this one looks a bit different because I've done sort of an ombre effect there but and there's a pink version um, but I just got crap and there's the purple version just for the hell of it um, but I love them I think they've turned out so cute they're not blocked of course at the moment but um, I just got cracking so look at this as I said 32 so far <laughs> I've been pretty busy, but uh, I just really love the colours that I chose. There's the other variegated. It's sort of like a, there's a pinky, sort of mauvey, purpley as well. And it makes an appearance everywhere. And the other variegated is this one, sort of a purpley, uh, more purpley pinky colour there, musky sort of colour. And I just think they're gorgeous. So I'm, I'm digging the feel of them. They all feel quite different. Um, but at the same time, they've got that running theme of white going through. And yeah, just slightly different, slightly all different. But of course, when they're all joined together, I think they'll work really well. Done 32. I like a lapgan to be, from past experience when I'm dealing with squares sort of this size, I like a lapgan to be about 8 by 10 or 9 by 9. So either way, I'm going to have to make... A total of 80 or 81 squares and then I tend to go around the blanket quite a few times to just expand it but also to put a decent border on there I think it always looks nice not sure which border to go with whether I'll go with the shell or whether I'll go with my standard half double crochets round and round and round but um, either way very excited to get there and I just think they're cute as heck so addictive and I'm being a really good girl and weaving in my ends as I go huge difference I used to be lazy, I used to leave it to the end and then I'd look at the project and I'd look at all these squares with all these ends and we know how much I love hand sewing and I used to say stuff it and that's why I would sit in a bag forever and not be completed because 
Ain't nobody got time for ends because they drive you nuts. Even more nuts than you currently are. But anyway, so there you go. That's what I've been doing. A lot of grannies and a lot of gables. Gables and grannies over here for the month of February. And that's it. That's all I have to show you. No more firemen or firefighters. I'm really upset about that. <laughs> I didn't get around to doing some more of them. Um, but yeah, this new project just came out of nowhere. And um, I've been loving it. So that's the main thing, really. And that, that's about it. So hopefully I'll have a bit more of Gable to show you and possibly a few more grannies to show you in March. But for now, that's it. I hope you're all well and I'll see you soon. Bye.